Hello, and... Wow. I feel like I just read a line the mic right there. I'm sorry. Hello, and welcome back to our Let's Play of Astronauts. This is gonna be episode 24. So, uh... Let's begin where we left off, which I believe is here. So, our last episode, we were, um... We at least put the parts together for a living quarters of sorts, and I believe we were fixing up our reactor. I did actually go back and watch a portion of this, um, for the purposes of preparation, of course. Uh, <laughs> I, this is like the second or third time I've ever done this. Anyway, um... So I, I think this episode, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on a quick little repair job for most of the big things. I'm going to try to finish scrapping the remains of the, 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 the Space Hulk that we are currently attached to. Uh, as I recall, there are a couple more components, maybe. And then I'm thinking I want to I wanna set up the hallway area as kind of like an airlock. And I think I am going to move this turbo. Mm, maybe. Um, uh, depending on where the store is. So I think, uh, yeah. That's my plan for this episode. Let us go. So first I'm going to start by, um, well, clearing the wreck, to be honest. I feel like that's, uh, that's probably the way to go. Ah, yeah. Battery charger worth uninstalling, obviously. Gonna use it, probably not. I'm gonna repair it and sell it, yes. Um, where else do we go? We got a couple of crates. I kinda do want to get crates longer term, but for now we're probably fine. Um, heater, yeah, I should grab one of these just in case. Or probably both of them because I I wonder if they sell if they sell for anything. We do have a heater that we spawned with. I haven't moved it. Um, might be worth checking it out. I guess it's a component, right? Like we got plenty of space now with the reactor room and the other room, and we can load up on so much crap. Um, and the more crap we load up on. The more crap we have the ability to move, let's uh, grab at least one chair. I also gonna want to grab that sink, uh, a fridge, possibly two fridges. Um, there's probably some more more stuff worth grabbing, right? Okay, so sink. Let's uninstall. Fridge. Uh, do we have anything in this fridge? Pretty sure I cleared these out. Yes. Let's uninstall if they, assuming they had anything in them. All right. So fridge, sink, chair. Uh, what else do we need for living quarters? What do you? What do you? What else do you need to live? Right. Toilet. Toilet's good. What else do I have that I use in my house? Oh, bed. So, yeah, I mean, I got a fridge. I have a sink. I have like four sinks. Five? Because there's like a shit tier sink in the basement, too. No, six, because there's two shit tier sinks in the basement. Um, so I guess we should get six sinks. Uh, we should get these pumps. Are these regular? Yeah, they are. That's almost got nothing in it. Didn't I check this? I probably checked this already. That's about a third. Is there anything in the sink? <clears throat> no. Okay, good. That's what I thought. Okay, let's, um, let's start by dragging this door back. Oh, I got a lot of crap that I need to deal with. Two backpacks worth of it. Yeah, this is definitely going to be a little bit of a, a, a cleaning up episode. I apologize ahead of time for those of you that were hoping for something a little bit more exciting. But 
unfortunately, well, gaming isn't always exciting. It is often exciting, and um, it is not nearly as obnoxious as, like, real-life shit, to an extent. But sometimes it is not. Speaking of real life shit, y'all ever try playing pickleball? It's like if, um, if tennis and ping pong had a baby. I guess it's like the, it's like the mule of, of, of sports. Cause a mule's like half horse, half donkey, right? It's like, big ass horse, small ass donkey, mix a mule, sterile. Absolutely won't get you laid, but hey, you know what? It's kind of fun. Um, I don't know. I've been playing a lot of pickleball lately. It's a pretty fun sport. You get to jump around a little bit. You get a little, uh, a little bit of activity. Something that uh, I think I lack on a day-to-day -day basis. And, you know, we kind of use it as a, an excuse to have a gym membership, go run, go lift some weights. Those are the heaters that I wanted to grab. Yeah, it feels like one of those healthy things to do. Um, I actually kind of worry that these heaters are not going to be worth much at all. Uh, but, you know what? It's fine. We're not exactly hurting for cash. I would just like to have another big-ish haul because if we have a decent-sized haul, I can um I kind of want to try throwing a bunch of money at my uh, uh, uh um um mortgage. Cuz I feel like if uh normally the way that oh, my bad. Uh the way that it works is you're paying off interest, right? Not the principal. So you spend the first two thirds of your mortgage, you're paying off the principal or, or the interest, and then before you even pay down the principal. And if you pay extra, then that gets applied to the principal, which automatically reduces the interest. And obviously, from here, you can understand why you are often forced to pay the interest first, because obviously the bank wants you to pay interest. It's more money. Like, if I was a bank, of course I'd make you pay interest. Matter of fact, I would make it illegal to pay your principal before you paid interest. I would try to figure out all sorts of ways to extract cash from you. Thankfully, I'm not a bank. Because I'd probably be a asshole of a bank. Profitable, though. You'd love me if you had shares in my bank. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Um... <clears throat> I probably should have just dumped that in the living quarters. Whatever. We'll deal with that later. A yes. I am also kind of interested in how much some of these crates are worth. I am going to grab this door. Uh, so I'm kind of tempted to just grab a few of them. We definitely unpaused for a second there. Yeah. I guess crates are also going to be thoroughly damaged. Dang, we're slow. Uh, I guess we're only at four times speed. That explains why we're slow. Yep. There we go. Space. Not quite. Nice. There we go. Okay, so, I feel like that might be a hard-coded game limit, um, where you just, oh, just airlock, where you can't, uh, 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 drop things of a certain dimension, if it doesn't fit, um, that's what she said, and that's, okay, I'm not gonna say it's a bad thing, right, like, it's not a thing that significantly affects me at the moment, but it is if you get to the point where you're min-maxing something to possibly consider. I doubt I'm ever going to min-max this game. This just doesn't feel like a real min-maxy game, I guess. I mean, I guess you could min-max every game, right? 
and to an extent, I would argue that I... Oh, no. Where are you going, buddy? I did min-max this game for a little bit, right? Because I, um... I tried to get, like, the character traits that I wanted, and, uh... Did I? How did care? I definitely tried twice. At least twice, right? I might have only recorded one of them. Probably had some, um... Poor decisions made the first time. Yeah, whatever. Let's grab some of this crap, too. That's a huge rack. See, like, that's, that's the kind of thing that I feel like I might want to have access to down the line. Especially maybe in engineering. I mean, like, that is... I guess it is a rack, right? So it's you're 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 getting four times as many spaces as long as you are using all of them it's very worth it uh i guess uh especially since you lose floor space whereas if you do like a bin and a rack or a bin and a like a floor bin uh oh perhaps a bin and a floor bin and a regular fo floor are actually technically more efficient cuz you could fit four things on that. Can you stack stuff on top of a floor bin that is in a bin? I don't know. Alright, I'm gonna drop this bin here. Um, why'd I pick up the fridge? I didn't mean to do that. What are we missing? So maybe a couple crates. Uh, didn't we have some like Halpersons up here? Don't recall. Sink. We are definitely missing a sink. Let's go grab that. For some reason, I feel like grabbing the sink uh, 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 had some stuff in it. Ah, whatever. Where's... There we go. Okay. Okay. Probably not going to accomplish much of interest in this episode. Apologies. And, I don't know. What is there to uh, discuss that is not game related? Oh, okay. So, one thing I did, I, I finally actually looked it up, right? So, I was very confused as to why the uh, fusion reactor was being powered by helium-3. Because, again, like helium, deuterium, you're going to end up with lithium-5, which... Quick, very rapid, and probably inaccurate explainer of stability, right? So, um, stability works in the sense that uh, 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 when you have more neutrons than protons, your, your nucleus is stable. When you don't have more neutrons than protons, your nucleus is generally unstable. This is not a hard and fast rule, there are some exceptions, but generally speaking, this is true. Which is why when I was discussing uh, Lithium-5 a couple episodes back, I was kind of like, confused a little bit? Um, because I don't think that Lithium-5 can exist in a stable capacity. Uh, I, I, what I realized, so didn't, didn't even think about this at all, so what happens is Helium-3 uh, smashes deuterium, and you end up with, uh, 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 actually helium-4 plus a fast proton. That's not something I considered. I, at least not like consciously, right? I, I was talking about different types of radiation. I believe I was talking about positrons. I might have been wrong. Uh, I might have supposed, supposed to have been talking about, uh, protons. I apologize. In that case, uh, again, this is not my specialty. This is me fucking spitballing while playing video games. Anyway, so the idea is, or there's a clear benefit, right? So if you're smashing helium-3 and deuterium, then you end up with, uh, I guess what's called a neutronic fusion, right? So, um, generally speaking, when you do fusion, uh, uh, I think I was, I was talking about it earlier as like if you're smashing deuterium 
right? So you smash. If you smash two deuterium atoms together, and one of them is, whoops, uh, so a deuterium is going to be a proton, a neutron, of course, you're probably smashing them in a ballistic manner. Why are we so slow? Are we even moving? Why are we not moving? What the fuck? Anyway, so if you are uh, smashing them in what is presumably a ballistic manner, you have a a certain um um result. What I'm I definitely just like lost my train of thought there. Uh yeah, right. So two deuterium smash, they become a helium four. So two two protons, two neutrons, but one nucleus. And sometimes helium four becomes helium three because, you know, lots of energy is involved. And then you end up with a neutron flying off into the distance. Now, a neutron has, of course, no charge, hence neutron, it's neutral. Um, that neutron can then smash into whatever the fuck it wants, and if it smashes into something important, then that something important becomes an isotope. A common example would be, for example, uh, something like cobalt. Right, so cobalt likes to absorb neutrons and becomes, I believe, cobalt-60. They use it as a, like, radio targeting source in a medical setting because you can predictably use radioactive cobalt to, you know, target your whatever treatment. I don't know, for whatever reason you need to use cobalt to target your shit. Anyway, don't don't mess with the radioactive cobalt. Of course, there's other examples that are less radioactive, and um, you know, like if you're using water to catch neutrons, that's what I think most nuclear reactors use. It's like a little pool of water catches most of them. Glows a little bit of blue because of a uh, drink off radiation. Um, and then you end up with essentially just heavy water, which not really a big deal. If you freeze it into an ice cube, though, it sinks. Kind of crazy. I know it's 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 wild. You should try it if you ever have uh, access to heavy water. Which is actually like it's not. Oh, <sighs> again, not trying to vent this place. Um. Hey, hey, wait. Share another story. Hey, look at that. I got a story. Nice. Anyway, um... Bash. Whoa. Wait, whoa. What? Why am I bashing it? No, I don't want to bash. Cancel task. Hey, 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 hey. Cancel action. What the fuck, man? Repair. Why did I start bashing that shit? Is that like a... Is that like a tired thing? Did I accidentally click bash? I am, I guess, fatigued from prolonged exertion. So I definitely need to go crash out for a little bit. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. A recovery episode, man. You need to have one of those once in a while. Like, I... I had... Fucking big eyes, not enough stomach. Earlier, it feels like. Anyway. What were we talking about? A neutronic reactions. Uh, let's auto task for a little bit. Because we definitely need to do some repairing. Um, yeah. So I guess the benefit is if you're smashing deuteriums, for example, you are going to end up tossing off neutrons even uh, and protons too actually because you could toss off uh, you could make tritiums by launching a proton or you could make like a helium 3 by launching a neutron you could even make a helium 4 by launching gamma rays I guess off the top of my head I'm not certain anyway I was th uh, the, from my my short research 
you could actually try to burn, uh, I think it was six deuteriums becomes two helium fours, two fast neutrons, and two fast protons. And energy, obviously. That's like first gen thermonuclear fuel. Fun fact. Um, helium three and deuterium is aneutronic. So the resulting reactor shielding doesn't have to absorb large amounts of fast neutrons, right? Because if you're pulling actual energy out of your uh, fusion reactor, you're going to be absorbing actual significant amounts of fast neutrons. Um, got all sorts of juice behind them. You don't like those. You don't want those. They 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 hit nuclei and then they make the nuclei unstable isotopes and then those unstable isotopes become kablooies in a radioactive sense. That's that's how a nuclear fission bomb works. Um, yes, and I guess like a fast proton is probably safer than a fast neutron because a fast neutron is neutrally charged, right? So it's going to be not affected by the electron cloud and not affected by the nucleus, it's just gonna fly right through atoms in a ballistic manner. Whereas like a proton is positively charged, so it's gonna avoid nuclei, it's gonna be attracted to electron clouds. So it might fuck with the ionization of individual molecules, maybe? But it's definitely not gonna hit a nucleus. Like, that little bit of a deflection will probably keep it from colliding. Which means, uh, no nucleus collision, no, um, um, um... No, no isotope, no radioactive isotope. Okay. Uh, what? More payments due. Okay. What do I owe? I guess I owe a mortgage. Pay the selected fee, why not? Yeah, I think we're good. Hey, your mortgage is going down slowly. Like four books of payment. If I do, um. Yeah, I don't know. Whatever. Uh, I have an idea. Not an idea, I have a worry. Okay, so my worry is. 5% O2. Um, yeah, I know, I know. So the reason I'm worried about this is because I do not remember if I meant to do uh, fix that up this episode. Which is kind of a problem. Uh, so I need to rig up a way to dump air into a thing. Uh, into a small bottle. Now, I think I can do this with just an air pump. I think. I am not certain. Uh, I did... If you put, like, a bottle under a pump, I believe it uses the bottle, right? And I think that's still true for a personal bottle. So I think that I... That's what I'm going to try. I am going to put a pump into this hallway wall, I think. Was there a wall? I hope there was. I don't think there was a wall. I need to put up a wall. I'm going to put up a wall to there. I'll put up a little wall. Anyway, uh, using that little wall. Hang on. Install. Hull. Wall. I am going to put in... I'm just going to grab, like, uh, whatchamacallit. Da, da, do, da. Three. Nah, four. Why not four? Perfect. Um. Mm -hmm. Auto task. Go. Okay. So the idea is, uh, I'm gonna put a pump there. I'm gonna drop one of those oxygen bottles under it, and I'm gonna hope, 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 that. Uh, I can use an, uh, one of those cans off the ship and just kind of refill my oxygen tanks. 
whether that is the case or not is to be, um, well, we'll find out. Also, this wall did not get built here. Uh, that's something to keep in mind for the future. If you're trying to build walls, get the crap off the floor. Clean up first, then build walls. You'll have a much better time. One more wall. Now let's install some conduits. We're gonna need those. Oh. Yeah. Uh, orders. Cancel that one. And... Yeah. I don't think I'm gonna fully pressurize my living area this time. This is still gonna take some a little bit of extra designing. Uh, I think I'm gonna put the the door in here, or do I want? Maybe I don't want to crack that right because this is like living areas, so I should have like an outer hall and inner hall maybe. Hmm. This is why I'm not certain, right? So I get all these ideas on how I want to build the ship, and I might want to rebuild the ship. So for now. Let's, uh, find a pump. Yeah, that's a pellet feeder, not a pump. Um. Doop-a-doop. doop a doop 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 So earlier, this was, I believe, a comment. Someone was talking about how, um, those temporary patch cables the uh, jumper jack emergency cables are basically like extension cables and like you're not wrong you are 100% correct the only problem is that in my you know decades of experience on this earth I have yet to find anything more permanent than a temporary solution that's really just how it is bro Alverson. I like this. So, um, with that in mind, that's why I'm trying to get the uh, extension cables out of my ship. This is regular pump. Awesome. I think I might go grab that one. I definitely just need to grab one of the turbos off the ship that I already clipped it, collected um, instead of trying to use a pump. But to be honest, like, do I want to use a turbo? I might be worth it. Eh, we'll find out. Eh, this is taking a while. Why is it taking so long? Let's speed things up. You know what? We get a Halverson. Life is good. Oh! Another thing I was thinking about. Yeah, we'll deal with it. Let's let's try doing the pump thing first. Let's see. We got like a, a, a air pump. Turbo. Turbo. Pellet feeder. Turbo. Turbo. Man, we really just don't have regular air pumps. I guess you could turn the turbo off, but I think the regular ones, you could turn them to, like, slow or something? Ah, fuck it. Let's just use a turbo. So, I'm going to install a turbo. I'm going to put an uh, 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 oxygen can on one side, oxygen bottle on the other, and... Really, I'm kind of hoping for the best, because as I recall, I am not doing good when it comes to... Oxygen supplies. Pump. Install. Here. Yeah, that'll work. Hopefully I don't run out of oxygen. And hopefully this doesn't take too long. I don't know. I feel like I had a couple of uh, 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 fairly long episodes recently, so I've been trying to do something a little bit shorter and snappier. 
Um, let's grab a bottle or three. Sure, no pressure. Decent condition, no pressure, decent condition. Let's grab an O2 bottle. Which we're gonna have to grab off the ship, looks like. Which isn't really a problem. Um, there were a number of fairly full O2 bottles, I believe. Should be able to find them here. Uh, yes. Hell yeah. Let's let's just pick that one up. Honestly, I kind of want to keep this one full. <laughs> just because it's like uh, 40.4 kilopascals, like 40 megapascals of oxygen is amazing. Oh man, that's a lot of air. That is so much breathable air. Uh, I almost don't want to waste it. I know, like, it's not really a waste, and, like, you gotta crack it eventually, but... Until I am certain that I am capable of easily refilling these airlocks, I feel like I should start off with a can that isn't just so great, amazingly full. Like, 40 kilo megapascals, I could replace my actual oxygen... Uh, 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 supply with that, no problems. That would be great if I did that, as a matter of fact, because my actual oxygen supply is probably a little bit short of uh, 40 megapascals. That's nitrogen, that's a Kang. Kangs might actually be worth it. <clears throat> Alright, let's, let's grab this. 3 megapascals. Not great, not terrible. I don't know, like... I probably have about... No, I probably got, like, 300 kilopascals on my O2 tank right now. Um, so I guess it's probably, uh, probably like orders of magnitude, right? But 300 kilopascals is 3%. 3 megapascal is like 30%. Uh, the rest of it's like... Well, I guess it wouldn't be 300%, would it? It would only... If it was 30 megapascals, it would be... Uh, da, 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 yes, I do need to install, don't I? Okay, I need to um, um, get here first. There we go. Yeah, I need to get here first. Let's, um, let's just do this. There we go. Excellent. Okay, so, let's put the tank here, let's put the little tank there, and I think, I am not certain, but I think this will work to refill my oxygen little tanks for the EVA suit. If it works, awesome. If it doesn't work, I feel like my uh, my uh, salvaging run might be cut a little bit short. Let's speed this along. Like I was talking about um, um, nothing being more quite so permanent as a temporary solution. This is intended as a temporary solution. Control panel. Okay, so if I turn off, turn on, slow. Revert. Turn off, slow. Why isn't it showing me anything? Power. There's no green light, which 
makes me think I might be missing power. What if I do that? Just pick that up for now. Okay. Huh. What if instead of grabbing a turbo, I grab a regular pump? This is gonna be a longer episode, isn't it? Two percent. Oh wow, that's a lot of air. Alright, let's uh, uninstall this really quick. Are we out of power? We might be out of power. That might have been the issue. Okay. Um. Okay. Let's do this. We're gonna switch the battery on for a second. We are going to hope that that's enough to refill this tank. Control panel. Off. Yeah, okay, so we got oxygen here now. Uh, not enough to breathe, but, you know, oxygen nonetheless. Um, let's... Hmm. Is that where it goes? I think that's where it goes. Let's, uh, control panel. Let's, let's slow this way down. Okay, so on. If we do on... O2 bottle. <sighs> yes! 11, 13, 14, 15, 16, 18, 20, 20, okay. Does it cap out at 20 megapascals? I thought it could go up to 40. Alright, it I feel like it's capping. It's working! Essentially, I mean, it seems like... Condition, 15 point... Uh-oh. Yeah. Whoops. <laughs> that definitely just exploded. <laughs> uh, okay, we we overpressured that. Whoops. Let's grab another bottle. Yeah, well, we just vented a bunch of oxygen. But um uh, mum 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 mum. Oh, we already had another bottle. All right, whatever. And let's head back. Let's try to not blow this one up. Honestly, I'm happy I survived the explosion, because if I'm being completely honest, um, even a small oxygen can going kaboom anywhere near me is... I, I, I don't think I would recommend that as a thing that you want to occur. Like, I, I would strongly suggest you find a place that involves uh, protection from shrapnel. Yeah, we still got battery. Control panel. Why are we being so... Hey, there we go. 39, 57, 74, so we're going to stay under 20. That's our goal. 13, 14, 16, 18, that's enough. Is it? That's enough. That's absolutely enough. 
Um, 20, let's pick it up. 99, 98%. Doesn't seem to be taking damage. Let's just, uh, let's just put that in our bottle compartment. And a row two stock is at 97%. Okay. So 20 and change is max fill. And. Well, shit, we can just use a quick little turbo pump here to fill things up. And uh, it doesn't even take much of a can. Dude, this is great. We we have learned some stuff. This is this is useful information that I will make, make use of in the future. Anyway, with that, I'm going to call it. Like, share, subscribe. By the way, so this is episode 24. Fun fact. Um, due to my native resolution, whatever, uh, folders have eight across, and when I load, uh, 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 when I try to load stuff to process it into a finished video file, it's only six across. So, episode 24 is the first time both of those come up as a square. Like a square block. Just wanted to point that out. I'm expecting that. It's it's one of those little nice things. With that, like, share, subscribe, do all those fun YouTube things, or don't. Actually, feel free to dislike. Uh, I did notice I got a dislike on a recent episode. Fuck it, I don't mind. Because um, I'm pretty sure likes and dislikes are the same, algorithm-wise. Yeah. So, if, I mean, if you were actually disapproving something with something that I did, I apologize. I will do my best to fix it. I'm not sure exactly what I did to... Yeah, yeah, whatever. Anyway, episode's over. Have a good one. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!